Hello everyone, it's Squeaker with HCG coming to you on Thursday. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. I've been awake since about um, 4.30. My mom came in and woke me up and said that my dad was really sick this morning. So we were supposed to go on to cancer treatment at 8.30 this morning and my dad is never, ever late. He always gets up two hours in advance so he can get there in time. He likes to get there before um, anybody else gets there. I think it's a challenge. So my granddad was like that. We had to bust out of here two hours early so we can get there in time. But he's still asleep. So that's very, very unusual for my dad to still be asleep whenever he has an appointment. All my bracelets and everything are like... My watch is just like twisty, twisty. It's crazy. Stepped on the scales this morning. I was down, rammed down to 172.2. Just a couple more pounds and I will be in the 60s. Woo -hoo -hoo. So happy. You know, because I spent so many days doing 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. And you know, the releases, you take them, but oh my goodness, it's so slow. And this is what I think it's about. Maybe wrong. I think it's about I eat too much trivia because I didn't have any day before, very much day before yesterday or today or yesterday. And guess what? I had a almost a one point release or one release and a one point two or four released today so I have to use a little trivia but I was I think I was using too much and it's just yummy yummy but you know so it goes I wanted to tell Sugarbug congratulations on your clothes I'm so proud of you and uh, I'm so glad we found the HCG and I'm thankful that it's uh, helping you hormonally not only with your weight, you know, I know the weight's always been a problem, but it's not just the weight, but hormonally, if you can get your cycles that you've never had, I mean, that's an awesome thing. <clears throat> so, I was very much looking forward to going home this weekend, but I don't think I'm going to get to go. I miss my husband, but... I don't think I'm going to get to go because my best friend, I'm going to have to get off of my knees. My little feet are sparkling. Okay. There. Sorry. Look at all the exercise equipment. I don't use it. Um, my best friend, um, her, hus her ex-husband was diagnosed with bone, liver, pancreas, lung cancer, the same, about the same time my dad was. What about him? Oh, I don't care. About the same time my dad was, and he started cancer treatment on the same day. Uh, they gave him four to six weeks. Now, I don't understand why you would start cancer treatment. I really don't. But that's my opinion. I'd rather have some good drugs and eat and do whatever I want to than to go do cancer treatment every day and be sick. That's my opinion. Anyway, so they gave him four to six weeks to live. And um, they went and they planned his funeral. And I felt so sorry. You know, I felt so bad for him. That's got to be hard to plan your funeral. And... Um, he had a hard time breathing all day. So <clears throat> that evening she called 911 because he was not doing well. So she called 911. They took him to the hospital, said that he uh, was bleeding internally, and they gave him a few days. She called her, her his kids, and uh, one of the sons said he had to check his schedule to see if he could get here. So, anyway, finally both of the sons showed up yesterday. Um, they have him full of morphine, and um, if you're a praying person, I ask that you pray for art. I can't tell you, you know, what to pray for. Do we pray that 
um, the Lord take him quickly? Do we pray or we just pray for the Lord's will to be done in his life? Maybe that's it because, you know, all of our days are numbered. We just don't know which number it is. And I told my friend, I said, you know, they may, they can give him a couple of days. He may live for two weeks. He may live for, you know, you don't know. So um, I think I'm going to go spend the weekend with her and, you know, be there for her. she. Whenever I wrecked, she was always there for me. I mean, she she's the one that flew to Arizona and stayed with me in the hospital and, so, um, yesterday I had a great day cooking for everyone. I made a pound of bacon. I don't know if I've mentioned to anyone that I really like bacon and I could smell bacon on my shirt. I did wear a long sleeve shirt and then I washed my hands every time I turned the bacon so I wouldn't have it on my hands. Kind of like I watched Parker's video about the sauces, sugar sauces. Yummy. I, um, yesterday I had kind of a stomach bug or something. My stomach was really upset and I don't know what that was about, but anyway, oh, sugar bug. Anyway, I do look forward to vlogging with you. I think that's going to be fun. Um, I'm still debating. You know, I know I need to take a break. I'm probably about day 63, somewhere thereabout. I'm not exactly sure. Isn't that crazy that I don't know what day I'm on? I do know what I've lost, though. But my days, whenever my phone got stolen, um, I had I have an app on my tablet, but it um, it's not right. It's the weight is right, but the the days are not right. So. I don't know what day I'm on, 60 someone. I can go back and figure it, I guess, on the calendar or not. Well, I just wanted to come on really and say hello. I've missed everybody so much, so much. But soon I'll get to go home and get to Skype and get to vlog and get to watch and all that good stuff. So, anyway. You don't realize how many times you say something until somebody brings it to your attention. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.